All right, kids, we're getting ready to uh, go ahead and put the turlet back up on the floor. But one of the things you want to make sure you do, okay, these, uh, you want to make sure these bolts is at nine and three, if that way the wall is 12, you know what I mean? That way they line up real nice when you put the turlet on there. And these seem to come on here just to kind of be an extra flange and hold her in place. There's no way to grab it other than with your fingers. So, whew. I'm bending over. I'm not shaped to do that. a lot of weight to move around. Anyway, you get her snug real nice there. So you finger tighten it. Use your finger, son. Anything else be overkill. Next step, put the turlet on there. Can't really hold this and show you that, so I'm just gonna do it and then we'll show you afterwards. Yeah, okay, bye bye. Look, it's sitting on there real nice. Now you just thunk when the, the tile the flooring guy put the floor in, he'd have made it equidistant across the floor. Equid that's the math term. You don't know what that is, get a dictionary, WTF. But this is something I don't know how to fix, and I had to go WTF. Wouldn't be a project if something weren't fucked up, you know what I mean? Anyway, look, turlet's on the floor flat like, right? Now listen. This dang old floor ain't level. So we just gonna have to figure out how to level up the one side. I think that may have been why the original toilet was leaking. Because I'm a big boy. When I sit in here, put a lot of pressure on there. And uh, well, that's what happens. Anyway, we just gonna check the directions too. Maybe they say something about it. But this thing's gonna be a big old deal. I like it. This is a nice looking toilet. All right, we'll be back. Well, since I was a smart man, and I know what love is, <clears throat> so I checked it out, and they said, uh, in the book, it says uh, either your wax ring ain't on there right, uh, which it is, or the floor's not level, and you can get you some toilet shims. But first, we're going to try to put the, we're going to try to put the fasteners down, and see if maybe that helps first. And that don't help, and we're going to have to go to our local hardware store, talk to that man, and get us some toilet shims. Pink WTF, man. It, it, you know what I mean? If there was, of course, this thing was made in America like them Kohler toilets is up north in Wisconsin, well, this toilet would be about three times the price. So I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you, Mako. And uh, you got real nice beaches and real nice food. And, uh, well, we're going to just say thank you and move on because I ain't going to pay $500 for a commode. All it's going to do is drop poopy in it. If I was dropping cold and gold or money in it, I mean, real money, of course, Poop to some people is money. Duh, duh. But anyway, we'll all right, back. kids, we back. Hey, check it out. So these are new fancy screws that you put on the turlet. Remember, kids, don't over tighten on these things. You could crack this porcelain. I mean, it's made to take abuse. As we all, I'm gonna turn this sideways. Sorry if it messes you up. It's made to take some abuse, but not too damn much. You know what I mean? Interestingly enough, there ain't no uh, um, cap that goes on there, or a. Uh, um, washer but that's okay i think that's why they use these polyurethane deals anywhere silicone whatever you want to call it <laughs> WTF, Dave. anyway so sorry top focus there it goes now the key with this my friends my lovely people out there in tv land no all rights reserved thank you nickelodeon but with the toilet deal you want to go side to side just like when she's moving in the ocean. Oh, look at there. We'll put her down side to side. Oh, she's tight. Ain't gonna mess with it no more. Look at there. Whew, good thing I read the directions. Told you. Don't be the big man, be the better man. There we go. All right. It's on there. This thing ain't going nowhere. Whew -wee. All right, cool. Well, we solved that problem. We ain't got, well, I do have to go to AC to get, to get the water supply line. The, the, the one from the house when it was built was one of these these deals. Well, that's okay if you got a toilet that fits that exact size, but I don't know what this one's gonna be until I hook her up. So, and I believe the new one's bigger than this. This is one of them, uh, I don't know what they call it. It's the right height for me. It's just right height, I think, but it's the right height for me because I'm. Uh, Y'all know how big I am. I'm a six foot four big old man. So I is the bigger man too. Anyway, there you go. You hide the evidence. I do the same thing on the other side. Now some of you are gonna say, why the hell am I wasting 15 minutes of my life watching this video? Well, I'll do respect people. This ain't for you, it's for my kids someday. 
grandkids, or my grand, I should say my, my, my great grandkids someday when they don't know how to do something because they daddy was too busy playing on an iPod right now. Well, you can watch great grandpa do this. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you kids watching, love you, miss you, all that kind of stuff, and go visit your old grandpa. And bring your girlfriends. I want something to look at. And the people in the old folks home ain't doing it for me no more. <laughs> Except that one nurse, but we ain't talking about her. She gets mad. But anyway, <clears throat> don't tell mom I said that. <laughs> WTF. All right, we got that one on. The toilet doesn't seem to move no more, so that's good. You know what we might do is just have a seat real quick. Let's do that. Flipping her, flopping her around. <laughs> She don't move, kids. That's good. That's good. That's real good. All right. So this thing, this thing here, he's got us out and about them. We're gonna, we're gonna put this on WTF. I don't know what was I'm using right now. We're gonna put this squishy thing on the bottom of the tank, and it's gonna sit here, real nice, just like that. But because this edge is the way it is, we gotta put it on there first, okay? All right, hang on one second. I'm gonna grab the tank and show you what it is. Actually, I can show you right now. There we go. Good Lord, that's a flushing mechanism like I've never seen before. This deal is made by a fluid master and this thing here, this, that's a cooler. Just kidding, kids, is this ain't no cool. I mean, you could use it as one. It's styrofoam in there. Why is that there? Well, because it gets humid here in the Northern Illinois in the summertime and that keeps your toilet from sweating and dripping all over your floor, unlike me. So, anyway, we're going to set it down real ginger-like. While you're doing this, this is a good time to look for leaks. Now, what the hell do you suppose that is? Something left over from the mold, I think, when they made her. You know what? We're just going to clean that off. That's another WTF moment for us right there. That ain't where the shit, is it? Good Lord. That's that American standard. That's not my American standard. Anyway, back to the, I mean, look, you got a, <clears throat> what's a six side? No, that's a, that there's eight sides. There you have an octagon. That's like a stop sign. And look, inside of there, it's another octagon. Remember that game when you, you was a baby and you had to take the square and shove it in the square hole? Oh, there you go. It's on real nice. And that then acts as a cushion for the pushing. So, we're going to take this. We will flip her upside down and we can put it up on the on the turlet over there. But so now we did A to B and this is gonna be C to B. Do that physics math problem, you know what I mean? But first we're gonna get that other junk off of there. I don't wanna see that when I when I clean the toilet later anyway. I mean you won't see much of it, but I wanna make sure they wasn't trying to patch a crack or something like that and then I have to take her back. That's almost like a rap song. Patch a crack and take her back. <laughs> Alright, be back. All right, here he is. We got the tank on now. I didn't secure it yet, because you can see underneath there. There it is, okay? Now, what they say to do is you tighten her down side to side to side to side alternatively until you have China to China contact. China, China. So this should be, this should be touching that according to the directions. You do that. You got, yourself, you got yourself a seal, okay? Not the or or kind, I mean the seal where it just don't lick, you know? But it's gonna make sure you sit in there, sit seated on there just fine, and then we'll get her done, okay? So what comes in with these is you got this here, little doohickey, a nice little plastic rinse they gave you, that was nice of them. So here's the handle, here's the top, and here's this how it works. That fits in there, that goes on there. Boom, just like that. You see that there? This here's a built-in washer, that's nice. And they kind of make it dummy proof. So it does say though, <clears throat> on this particular toilet and this particular deal, do not use plumber's putty. You will void the warranty. You cannot use plumber's putty, pipe dope, any of that junk. They say warranty is void if any type of sealant is used on the water supply connection. Okay, don't do that. Cause you don't need to anyway that's about it y'all all right so we're gonna tighten her down once we get the seat put on we'll show you what it looked like all right thank all you. right after some cranking and twisting and i had mama come in and give me a hand held her down for a little bit uh we got her in there cool thing is 
you ain't got to get in there and use those screws. You just do everything from the bottom, has something pushed down, and it takes care of everything. This thing's pretty solid. It ain't going nowhere. At least I hope. We'll find out once we put her in. So, now, there it is. I'm going to put the seat on and then connect the water, but that's how you do it. Some people like to put caulk around the, the base of the turlet. Um, you can do that. The only problem with it is if you have a leak, you ain't going to know it until everything's moldy and the floor is rotted out underneath. So, I just said nope. Besides, after a while, when the caulk turns color, it looks like hell anyway. So, um, so there you with. There's your turlet. Looks all nice and pretty. So anyway, again, this is the American Standard Titan 1.6 GPF, which is gallons per flush. And this thing so, theoretically ain't ever supposed to clog. So <clears throat> I'm going to have my little one. He's going to run the, the beta test on this and see if he can't clog it because he's good known for that stuff. But WTF. Anyway, all right. Hey, look, it's got a nice little lip on there. So you can set your little chops keys and whatnot build you a little island on there and whatever but or it's a good place to store magazines the good kind you know what i mean <laughs> anyway well i had a second thought and thought maybe i better show you what it looks like with the thing on with the lid remember them uh them screws i showed you before that had this little flap on the side these new ones have the same thing but look Whew. it don't slam unless you want it to and even then you might be having trouble with that here let me try that Yep, I mean, I gave her some force there. And it closes real easy. The cool thing is after, I don't know what, a few years of that, um, there you go, it looks crooked there for a sec. A few years of that, it'll get, you know, he's gonna have to replace it, but these are only like 30 bucks, ain't no big deal. All right, the next step we gotta do is go get our water supply line. You've all seen them hooked up before, so I'm not gonna worry about telling you all about that, but. It's going to go from the turlet to the pipe. And then once you get her all hooked up, remember, don't use any pipe dope. You don't need it on this one. Once you get her all hooked up, then um, go ahead and turn the water supply back on. Give it an opportunity to fill up and then check for leaks. Give her a couple flushes, drop a deuce or two and see what she got. If she leaks, then you resort to troubleshooting. And if you can't figure it out from there, then I suppose you could always call the manufacturer. I'm not a plumber, so I can't really give you any advice. I'm just a do-it-yourself homeowner that's trying to make make some people laugh. Anyway, um, that's that. That's your American Standard Titan Turtle Bowl with a Mega Flush, and it's supposed to swallow, swallow like 50. Uh, I don't know about 50, but a lot of golf balls. And she says, "I'm done." All right, later. Well, we done hooked her up, and it looks like it's going okay. Look, there's water in there. That's good. This thing's filling up. That's good. She ain't going to sweat. That's good. We stuck a paper towel under there. I was going to check it in a couple hours and make sure there's no leaks or nothing. I don't know where the hell there'd be any leaks, so I tightened everything down just about as, about as tight as it's going to go. Not too tight, though. All right, here. Watch the flushing power. That's why they call it the Titan. Here we go. Boom. There you go. There's your Titan flush. Whoosh. 